Hi everyone, this is Natalie at CloudApp. Um, I'm going to teach you a little bit today about marketing yourself for a specific role through your resume. So if you're if you want to just watch, go ahead. If you want to follow along, that's totally awesome. Um, just make sure you have pulled up one specific role, um, its role page that you can reference, and then also pull up either a Word document or a Google document. Um, and then feel free to follow along. There's two ways you can do this. You can either take notes or copy and paste. Um, I'm going to show you a little bit of both so that way you can do whichever one you prefer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to take this summary. I'm going to start where the words start and I'm just going to copy and then I'm going to write summary, make some bullets, and then paste. Okay. Oops. That was a mistake. Paste. Okay. Title. All right, now I'm just going to go through and highlight everything that stands out to me during the summary section. Okay, so I'm going to notice passion, new technology, products, do you love working with engineers, communicating to customers, around the world. Okay, as product manager in our product marketing group, you'll be influencing products, phases of their life cycle, including concept development and launch. Okay. Next paragraph, you'll apply customer insights to help infuse ideas or ideas into our product development process. You'll work on products and services, etc. You'll collaborate with a wide range of teams, which is indicating cross-functional. The may include design, etc. Together with the team, so that's teamwork. You'll work to craft groundbreaking ideas into tangible products and services that excite the world. Okay, so now I'm going to take some notes. So some things that stand out to me, there are some tonal aspects, and then there's some role aspects, and then there's some specific experience aspects. Okay, so for tonal, some things that I'm seeing are things like passion, love, working with, I'm going to give that some context, working with, um, other tonal things are, um, together with the team, craft, exciting. Okay, so those are some tonal things that came across to me, um, in the summary. So now moving on to the role aspect, here are some things that I'm noticing. I noticed that there's a lot to do with product, it says it several times. There's also working with engineering. There's communicating. Customers. Around the world. Global. Okay. Influencing products. Phases of life of product life cycle and product concept development and launch okay moving into the next paragraph I'm gonna see customer insights product development again um, that will do it separate development process okay collaboration, wide range of teams, cross-functional, okay, together with the team, craft groundbreaking ideas, so I'm going to say idea development, into tangible products and services that excite the world, okay. Actually, I don't want to do this experience section until later. Okay, so now that I have my total and my role, I'm going to move on to the next section, which is key qualifications. Um, I'm just going to follow the exact same process. Um, and so 
go ahead and do this on your own and I'll do it on my own and then I'll rejoin you in a minute. Now I've gone through the next and highlighted, well I bolded, everything that I found um, that I felt like stood out in the next section. Of course, since this is the description section, it was a little bit heavier. Um, but now I'm going to go over how to take this and use what I've already put together and compound together. Um, there's a lot of repetition in this section and also a lot of compounding what it was already found in the summary section. So instead of making it more cluttered, I'm going to show you how to make it more synthesized. Um, so what I did was I actually took the same document and opened it again just by copying the link and put it on the left side of my screen. So now I have the summary on my left side of my screen and the description section on the on the right side of my screen. Um, and so what I'm going to do is now I'm going to go through these and identify any duplicates. So um, the first one that I see is global. So I know that global is already here so I'm going to find global and what I'm going to do is I'm going to put one asterisk by it. One asterisk just means that it's mentioned a second time. Same with cross-functional team. Um, so it looks like that, oh, it is right here. Okay, so I'm going to asterisk that one. And then defining hardware and software features. So I haven't found defining features. So I'm going to add in defining features. And then I'm just going to write down software and hardware as kind of hot keywords right there. Okay, next is partnering with various teams, which is, again, cross-functional. So now I'm going to put another asterisk there. And then I'm just going to specifically put down the words partner with. Okay, um, now I'm going to keep on. Okay, product development cycle. I believe that that's already right here. So I'm going to put an asterisk right there. And then I'm also going to write down development here, just in case. Just so we know that that's specifically one of them. Okay, understanding product technologies. Um, anyways, you don't want to watch me do this with all of them. But essentially, I'm just going to add whatever isn't there yet. And um, and if it's already there, just continuing to add asterisks as we go. For instance, product positioning um, and cross-functional teams opens up, shows up a couple more times. So then I have like four of them by the end. That way I know that um, cross-functional teams are really important. So go ahead and go through these. And what I'll, I'll show you real fast, actually resume I don't have my resume pulled up. Um, so what you do after you've done this point is then you just go through your resume and sneak in these words. Um, when it's verbs, go ahead and just replace your verbs with these verbs. And when it's a specific technical words, if you don't have it already addressed in your resume, try to address it. Um, that said, you don't need to hit every single word here, but especially the words that are asterisked a couple of times, make sure that you hit it. If not, um, it's not imperative, but the more you have, the better. Please, however, like, words to the wise, please do not just fill your resume with these words without actually making it coherent and um, tangible and readable. Um, at the end of the day, it's going to be humans who read your resume, and so even if it gets you past the first step, it's not going to do any good if it sabotages your second step. I hope that this has been useful to you. This is a, a tactic that I've used many times in the past. It's gotten me my spot at CloudApp, at Google, and a lot of other um, a lot of other roles across various industries. So it's a it's a time and true method. I hope that this is helpful to you, and best of luck with your job interview process. Thanks, you guys.